We are joined by our Red Smith Award winner tonight, Baseball Hall of Famer, former member of the Appleton Foxes as well, Goose Gossage returning to Appleton, where it uh, it all started for you, what, 40-some years ago? Uh, 38 or 9 or something. I, it was 1970, so how many year over years that is? Yeah, it would be about 42. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's been amazing, uh, you know, well, when you're doing something fun like I did in baseball, time flies when you're having fun. So and it all started here in Appleton, and I can't say how comfortable everybody made me feel here. And, you know, when you're away from home for the first time, it really it really means a lot to us young kids that, uh, you know, people treated us like they did. Yeah, as, a, as an 18-year-old, too, away from home in, in Appleton, what, what do you remember? What was the first impression when you came here? Well, like uh, how... You know how how nice everybody was, and you know I'd never been out of the state of Colorado, and here I am on this journey as a professional baseball player, and just starting out, and it was scary. And uh, you know my first impression of uh, Appleton was how quaint, and back in you know 40 years ago, it's amazing how um, you know uh, you know just being here was amazing, and and the people, like I said, I can't say. Uh, enough about how friendly they were and how comfortable they made me feel. Did you get an opportunity to see the new stadium? I know you guys played at Goodland Field, but, you know, uh, Fox City Stadium with the Timber Rattlers, they're putting in a $6 million renovation right now. Yeah, well, they're they're just starting that, as I understand. But uh, I haven't seen it uh, currently, but I'll see it again. I'll come back and see it. And uh, I saw the new stadium when it was first built a few years back. I was up, and um, so... The Goodland Field, you know, that's where I played all my games. These new, it's like new Yankee Stadium. Yankee, the new Yankee Stadium means nothing to me. And uh, your 23-year baseball career, uh, a couple years ago, enshrined in the Hall of Fame in the class of 2008. You know, finally getting that call, finally being inducted with the greats of baseball. What, what did that mean to you? Oh, I, I just, I still can't even comprehend it. And uh, it's such an honor. And I would run into a Hall of Famer throughout my career here and there. And, you know, they'd throw out the first pitch or come in the clubhouse and visit us. And uh, I thought, man, what must that be like? And now that I've made it, I still can't even, I can't even comprehend it. And uh, the further away my career gets, the further away that anything even happened like that. And it's like a fairy tale, and I really can't even uh, put into words what it means to me. And I know, too, with, uh, with the Hall of Fame and with the recent class, nobody inducted in there. And, and, and you were pretty, pretty happy that that was the case, right? Well, yeah, and I don't know why the whole world isn't happy. You know, if they're saying, a lot of guys say that these guys were Hall of Famers before then, why did they use? And, uh, you know, that's the price that they pay, I believe, is uh, uh, that it's the, only, it's the only paddle left for their asses, you know, to keep them out of the Hall of Fame. And, uh, um, you know, if they ever go in, I don't know if I'll ever go back. I don't think the Hall of Fame would ever mean, mean to me what it means to me today. Yeah, it's crazy. I know we were talking before with the numbers and all the records and everything. It's as as a baseball fans and as a former player yourself, it's really hard to look at those and you know think of them in the same way. Well, it is, and it's just like Armstrong. I don't think anybody looks at him the same way as they looked at him before. And I think the rest of these guys ought to fess up and quit dragging baseball through it. And you know, it always is the best policy is telling the truth and. Uh, it's about time that these guys stop dragging the game through uh, through the mud and, and all the controversy and, and fess up to the what they did. Well, Goose, let's get back to tonight here and just a, a great celebration of sports here in northeastern Wisconsin. Uh, you receiving the Red Smith Award, being able to come back, as I mentioned, with Appleton, too. It's got to be a lot of fun, got to mean a lot, and having Roly Heeman here to introduce you to and, you know, talk with him again. I, I'm sure you're uh, anticipating what stories he's going to tell tonight. Well, um, you know, he's a he's a great guy. He's been a friend of mine since he since I first met him uh in Quad Cities, they, he and Chuck Tanner came down to Quad Cities and taught me a changeup, and uh, he was the general manager of the White Sox at the time, and I had that great year, and then they invited me to camp. I had that great year here at Appleton. I was the MVP, and and then um, they invited me to camp the following year as a non-roster player, and I ended up making the club, and, you know, as I said before, it's kind of like a fairy tale that uh, that came true, you know, and... and um, Roland is, you know, I'm 
I'm as fond as Roland as I, ever, I am of anybody that I've ever met in the game. Well, congratulations on the Red Smith Award tonight. Looking forward to hearing what you have to say, and thanks for coming out here to Appleton. My pleasure. Thank you.